All right, well, I'm kind of on the um, upbeat swing of hitting 200 subs, so let's get into a Tower God already. No, no bullshit, we're just going to get into it. Uh, if you're new here, cool. Hope you stick around. Anyway, the place where Karaka's heart is kept. <sighs> where am I? I attacked Karaka's black Shinsu bull, then all of a sudden I, it sucked me in. What's that? Ah, shoot. I was hoping no one would come. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Oh, okay. Ah, shoot. I was hoping no one would come. I believe this is the old guy that trained Balm. Oh, no. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, my God. It's fucking Han Sung Yu. Is it Data Han Sung Yu? When he locked me in here, he asked me to take out any enemy he sent my way. But I didn't think he'd send a high ranker. I, don't, I didn't expect to have to fight someone so dangerous, but I'll give it my best shot. Han Sung Yu? The hidden fish from the test level? I'm all as you recognize me, Commander Chion, Chion Hee Ha. How the hell? Where is this place? Sorry, that's kind of a trade secret. Is this, I assume this is, is this regular Han Sung Yu or data Han Sung Yu? I actually don't know. Could be either. Have we seen regular Han Sung Yu outside? No, I don't think we have. So this is probably just regular Han Sung Yu and I'm just off on one. Or, <clears throat> so I don't think I can tell you. Would you rather have my secret coffee recipe? Leave your questions aside for now. Let's have some fun. If you don't tell me, I'll just have to beat it out of you. 52nd floor. A rough war. Four. I'm killing you and saving my master, Calavan. I'd like to see you try. Essence of bravery. Vio, watch my back. Distract him for me. Uh, okay. While pretending to attack together, I'll find a weak point. Then Vio can use that weak point to break the spell on the back on the wall. You think a pathetic attack like that can hurt me? Dream on! World of darkness! Nine dragons, endless sky! He just bats him away. I thought he was a defensive character, but he keeps charging at me. Master. Do you like the gift, Karaka? It's a bit different. But you've been wearing armor for ages. We are used to it in no time. Yes, Master. Thank you for this wonderful armor. I'll use this armor to achieve what we've been after for so long. This armor isn't for revenge. It's for surviving. You become a slayer at such a young age. You'll make a lot of enemies as time goes on. This will help keep you alive. Don't risk your life for some idea or revenge. Just stay alive. No matter what. All I want is for you to stay alive, Karaka. Master. I don't think I'll be able to achieve what you wanted. Armor inventory. Armor storm. Someday, I'll put my life on the line to achieve my real goal. But right now... I'm putting my life on the line to go save you, Master. Karaka style airwave. White Crow. Karaka style level 2 airwave. Double White Crow. Nice. But you're not nearly as strong as your master. <laughs> it didn't even hurt him. You can't hurt me with these little attacks. I can't believe you, you're even thinking of going after the king with such pathetic skills. Your master once offered me a slayer position, but I refused. Because that title creates fake gods. Slayers are gods of evil, who feed off their own hatred towards the king. They only exist because of the king. Mr. Hajin Sung is using his hatred as, ex as an excuse to create fake gods. Someone once told me, you can't be killed. You just come back to life. So I won't kill you. 
I'm going to cut you into pieces and take you with me. I'll show you how pathetic... <clears throat> I'll show everyone how pathetic and weak you slayers really are. Mr. Karaka! I'll keep Calavan distracted. Just get over to the wall. It's too risky! Then just run. This guy's way stronger than we thought. If you die, the whole plan falls apart. You'll stay alive and break the spell on the wall. But We can't save our master without you. Viol! Who's saying this? I assume it's Bomb. Mr. Doan's right over there. Mr. With the way things are going, I'm not sure if the if I can break the spell on the wall and let Yama fire the needle. Besides, if I somehow break down the wall and get to my master, if Karaka doesn't make it there with me, my master will be devastated. I'm not leaving you behind, Mr. Karaka. The Irregular. Still don't like you. But the moment you agreed to go say go with me to save our master. What are you doing, Viol? I realize we are both de disciples of the same master. So no matter what it takes, I'm gonna beat Kar Calavan. And together, the 25th bomb style airwave. Airwave zero. We're getting past this! Wall. Getting past this wall. I I I skipped ahead before before I should have. Guess I have- Damn it. I guess there's no choice. Keep pounding down on him. Alright! Shinsu, black hole sphere! Ah! Just now, he reacted to the Shinsu black hole sphere. Kalavan didn't even seem to care about the other attacks, but he definitely reacted to the Shinsu black hole sphere. Master Evankel was- and I were right. Calavan doesn't react at all to attacks that don't hurt him. That's why, even though I attacked him from behind the first time, he didn't do anything about it. Because he knew it wouldn't hurt him. But he reacted right away when I used the Shinsu Black Hole Sphere. He knew that it, he knew there would be at least some damage. But he reacts so quickly that I can't even get near him. How can I use the Shinsu Black Hole Sphere on Calavan? It's not something I can use multiple times as I want, like Shinsu. In that moment, Zizeng Ha's two disciples were thinking about the same thing about Kalavan. Not only does he have an incredible attack power, but the defenses are off the charts. How the heck was my master able to hurt him that badly? How? Kalavan is like a giant invincible fortress. Maybe bringing him down was like a difficult challenge that the master gave to his two disciples. And if they don't destroy the fortress, Calavan, they won't be able to win this war or we'll see their master again. I was thinking about it all wrong. I must pretend there's no wall behind me. As long as this guy's in my way, I'm not going anywhere. What should we do if we run into Calavan in battle? Let's look at three scenarios. First, if possible, run. That's the best option because you can't beat him. Second, if you can't run, buy as much time as you can and wait for reinforcements. From what I've seen, Calavan isn't the kind who is agitated or rushes for anything. As long as you don't throw the first punch, you can probably buy quite a bit of time. And third, is the worst possible option. But, if you end up in a situation where you absolutely have to fight him, fight like there is no tomorrow. Orb. You've got, you've got the fang that can hurt, you can, you got the fang. You can hurt Calavan with it. An orb, it's massive. You can use three at a time, huh? Sometimes, even a small fang can severely hurt even the most powerful opponents. Let's move on to the next chapter. How was I voicing, um... Cha. Clear path for us. Otherwise everyone gets everyone <clears throat> otherwise everyone will get trapped in the in the wall and die. Are you deaf? I said they're holding our friends hostage. You guys should just leave. We can't. There's no way to stop this fight. Have you forgotten 
that we used to be against Jihad's army? Of course not. That's why I'm blocking you. How are you even alive, though? Why'd you come here? Why did I come here? To fight Jihad's forces, of course. I see. So you didn't come here to see me? I, I mean, of, of course that was also part of the reason. Aren't you sick of fighting? Just look at this world. Nothing's changed even after all that time. We fought for nothing. We destroyed and tormented the people around us just to get revenge. And in the end, we didn't make anyone's lives any better. Go on. Before sealing myself away in the wall, I met a man. He told me about that Slayer candidate boy. So I asked him, would that boy be able to go down a different path from Jihad? Then he thought for a second and said, only time will tell. I've known Jihad for a very long time. He didn't used to be the way he is now. That's when I realized nothing would change even if some kind of savior appeared in the tower, like our master said. He would spill rivers of blood, and even if he took power, he'd just end up becoming a monster like Jihad. Everyone changes when they seize power. The journeys might be, might all be different. Oh fuck, I just got lightheaded. I need to breathe. But the result is all the same. It was only after leaving the battlefield that I realized I must also seem must also have seemed selfish to some people out there. While I was fighting Jihad's forces to avenge my parents, so many harmless people died waiting for this fight to end. I bet, bro, how f the fuck have I made such little of a dent in this chapter? How much dialogue, bro? Fighting won't change anything, so might as well just stop. If nothing changes, if nothing changed even during all that time I was asleep, uh, if that's really human nature, I'd rather just give up on all the fighting and live a normal, decent life. I just want to forget about all the that crap like revenge or gather purpose or whatever, or a greater purpose or whatever. My travel and my friend with my friends, have good food together, call my family sometimes, meet good people, fall in love. And just live a normal life, cha. 52nd floor. Verse Calavan. 1. I'm surprised- I'm surprised he learned to use an orb in such a short amount of time. And three of them, at least. Very impressive. I'm putting everything I've got into this attack. I mean, Calavan just blocks it with the essence of bravery. He broke through? How the hell? I didn't think Shinsu was- Viol- I didn't think Viol Shinsu was strong enough to break through an explosion like that. It's not his power. It's his stamina. Not even the explosion stopped him. He just keeps drawing Shinsu from those orbs. It's almost like- he got the unlimited Shinsu. Here comes round two. How cute. Didn't everyone ever tell you to never turn your back on an enemy? Karaka style Shinsu control skill. World of darkness. Field of destruction. Fire! Don't stop. Hold him down. Okay. Hansung Yu style, Shinsu control skill. Blue steel wave. It's time, use your power. All right. Orb, Shinsu, black hole sphere. Stardust. Huh? Ah. 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 That's, there's not even a scratch on him. How tough is this guy? Impressive. That last attack I managed to break through the essence of bravery and cut me. One of them is weak but deadly. 
and the other is tough but not a lethal threat. Which of them should I deal with first? Wait, what's there to think about? They won't give up on each other anyway. Crap! Ugh! Karaka! <laughs> Stop! Stay back, Veal. It's a trap. Ah! I probably peaked the mic with that. <laughs> I knew you'd come running to him. I can't believe you'd risk all those people's lives just to save one person. You're such a fool. Juvial Grace. Some people in Fog may think you've got what it takes to, become, to be the greatest king since King Jahad, but you're not like him at all. You've got no right to be king! If someone, is, if someone as easily shaken as you ever took power, it would only add to the chaos in the world. That's why I've just got to finish you off right now. Karaka? Lethal move. I'm a tree strike! The life of a king is a heavy responsibility. It means having everyone beneath you serve and worship you. King Jahad is different from you. He sees everyone aside from himself and the ten great family leaders as complete equals. So he doesn't care if he loses a few of his subjects. Unlike you, he doesn't let himself get distracted from the bigger picture. He's solemn and serene. You can't be unique like him. You're just an ordinary person with no right to have anyone sacrifice their life for you. Ah! What's Bomb doing? What? Karaka. Did you just deflect my. Karaka. Did he just deflect my punch? You're right! Like you said, maybe I'm not great enough for anyone to sacrifice their lives for my sake. Maybe that's why I'm still s I still make stupid choices, even when so many people's lives are on the line. I don't know anything about being a king, and I'm not so aloof that I can pretend like I don't care about all the people that have died. I'm foolish, and I can't even do everything by myself. I'm just an ordinary person. But any other ordinary person would have come here to save their master like me. They wouldn't run away and leave behind someone they care about. So you guys are the ones, sac the ones sacrificing the soldiers just to stop what is right. That is why I'm going to keep going. I may be foolish. And a lot of people may lose their lives. But someday, those people will all come together. And overthrow the corrupt king of yours! 25th bomb style, transcendent, transcendental skill. Oh, they like transcendental here. Must be a Korean thing. It's all over um, Kubera as well. Twin wings, black and white wings. Flora butterfly piercing technique. Mr. Viol. That attack reverberated through my entire body, but too bad. It was just a little... Just a little too weak. You would have taken my arm right off if the attack just went just a bit deeper. It's my fault for letting me attack... For letting you attack me while Karaka was holding me back. I'll be honest, I underestimated you. With that slight miscalculation just now, you lost your last chance to distract me. And your last chance to survive this. I admit, you're certainly powerful enough to be a threat to King Jihad in the future. That's why I have to finish you off right now. Oh? <laughs> These leaves. Dawan? Did you change your mind? 
No, I'm still gonna fight to stop this war. But I just don't think it's necessary to kill that boy. Can we just let him go? Oh, fickle. But sorry, I can't do that. Now that I've personally experienced how strong he is, we end this here. What should I do? I'm pretty sure Calavan will start attacking properly now. Since now he knows that I'm, I can actually hurt him. I can't just continue to rely on others and keep avoiding his attacks. I need to block him myself. There must be a way to defend against his attacks, just like Karaka's armor. I must find it. I must pull it out of myself. Oh, the heck? What is that? Is it a shield? Blue Thrissa. Level 2 transformation. Blue shield. At the same moment, between the fleet by the barrier wall... Hey, you'll regret this. Do you have any idea how risky this is? Shut up before I break the spell. We can't let our guard down for even a second. Hockney, what's going on? What happened to the branch leader? Or did you find the sniper? Well, the branch leader fused himself with the windbird. He's on a rampage. So, I don't think we can stop him right now. I think the core is in his head, but none of our attacks are working. As for the, type, the sniper, I'm going to search in the direction Evankel gave me. It's strange. There's too much debris in the way. There's no way anyone could have sniped from there. Alright, let Izu handle the search. I've got a plan. So tell him to make sure to find the sniper. Bombs of the fight to the death with Calavan. We've got to beat them. And get White's power back. To what it was in his prime. Okay. Alright, and we will leave it there with two chapters for this video. How long have I been recording? 20 minutes. About normal. I'm gonna go eat because I'm fucking hungry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and with all that said, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I hope to catch you next time for another video. Ta-ta! Bye now.